Hello, my replay viewers. Oh, look at that. Was there negativity in your social media feed today? Tell me. Was there negativity in your social media feed? Because today on my social media feed, there were so many people complaining and not having a good day. And, and it was just like, the fuck with a Q. So it was there. I'm just having fun at this point. This is Periscope. I'm going to scope it out. If you've never seen me, if you love New York City, don't don't forget to follow me. And uh, I could I could help you out if you would ever visit New York and whatnot. But was there negativity in your social media feed today? Because there was so much negativity in my social media feed today. It was like, kind of scary. I had a kind of like, eh, day. Wasn't too, you know, wasn't too exciting. But... It was on everyone today who posted was just like either complaining or just having a bad day or just something. And nobody's now. Oh, we got whoa, we got one person again. <laughs> I'm going to go by numbers. I see I have one person tuning in, so I'll make sure I'm talking. And, you know, if you're on Periscope, make sure you ask me any questions you like. Um, but today was just such a weird day on social media everyone was just and I'm, i guess I'm, I'm i guess i'm complaining kind of right now too but i had a i didn't have a bad day didn't have a good day it was just kind of eh but some people on here were just like <laughs> so i want to get hopefully from a random sampling of people by just hashtagging social media that um maybe get a little conversation going you know and if you're on periscope if this and then we got two people now um if you're on periscope feel free to ask me questions but was there negativity in your social media feed today it's like a telethon it's a telethon oh we got nobody tuned in oh we got one person tuned in we got one person tuned in we got when it goes to zero then it goes to one i'm on wi-fi right yeah i'm on wi-fi so it's like, you know, <laughs> just such a weird day today in social media. It was so weird. It was so angry and like complainy. And it was just like, it was like put on to this level where there was a part of my day when I was not allowed to use my phone. And it felt like you could just ignore everything. For two seconds because, you know, you're not bored or whatever. You're not doing anything productive. But, um, my God, it makes me almost feel like I just want to, like, shut it down. You know, that's it. Got to shut it down. Just shut the whole thing down. Just delete the Facebook, you know, delete the Twitter, delete, delete all of it. You know, but then it's like, I can't be here on Periscope talking to you the way I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> and I'm like randomly, just to let you know, for full disclosure, you may see it in my glasses, I'm randomly scrolling through shit from today because I I, I I tuned out like in the morning. Like it's not a very normal occurrence when I, I tune out of internet for a day because it's too it's mentally too much. It's just, it's not fun. But today was one of those days where it was just like you don't want to, you don't want to tune in because it's just gonna be like, come on, what the fuck? <laughs> People who have jobs are complaining today. <laughs> People who have good paying jobs today. So then I put up the most. So half of the reason why I'm doing the Periscope now. So if you're one of my Facebook friends, you know. I just got my license renewed for 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 my tour guide license. No, I didn't have to take retake the test. I didn't have to do anything special today. I just renewed it just now. I just paid fifty one dollars, and it's done. And you know, and I'm getting a lot of likes. And it's like, what was everyone's social media feed really bad today? Was everyone complaining today? That's what I want to know. If you're on Periscope right now and you could type in questions, please. Let me know. I'm doing an experiment. I'm doing an experiment right now because it's just like I feel like I need to do this. It feels necessary. <laughs> it 
It's like a telethon. It's like a telethon. And I'm going to keep going for the next few minutes until I get any kind of feedback, any kind of hearts here on the side of, any kind of hearts here on the side of the screen. Right? Is that reversed? It is, it is not reversed. So, All right, the number's backwards. From my, I'm just looking at how the selfie camera works on the, on the phone here. <laughs> Was there negativity on your social media feed today? Was there negativity on your social media feed? Was there, did everyone have a negative feed today? I mean, was I the only one who had a negative feed today where it was just so complainy and not, like, appreciating and not live here in Periscope? And if you're randomly watching me right now, um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Flickr and YouTube. I'm taking a break actually from, you know what? I'll show you in full disclosure right now what I'm doing. <laughs> full disclosure. So I'm taking a break. I'm trying to stay away from the social media and I'm, try I'm overly thinking stuff lately. So I, I wanna make more, yay, we got more viewers here. Was your social media feed terrible today was it negative like what was it <laughs> you just tune out right away what I, I usually do um i'm usually outside but <clears throat> it's cold it's really cold it's freaking freezing i'm gonna hop you off my gorilla pod right now and i'm gonna there we go and look at that. Everybody's tuning in for me getting a license, which is not that hard at all. But this is what I'm doing. I'm making a stupid video to entertain people, and I'm, like, overly thinking it right now. I'm trying to be too much, you know, Steven Spielbergish or whatever you want to call it. Having too much fun in my own head. I find that relaxing, sadly enough. But was your social media feed really negative today? Was it terrible? Was it just like complainy? Let me know. <laughs> Especially if you're on Periscope and you could ask me questions, give me hearts. I don't usually do kind of bummer things like this. I was like, wow, yeah, everyone's tuning in. Everyone is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I got to answer a question on social media because I got a license. This is like real time. So if you could watch this right now, this is fun. So Daniel, I'm going to reply to you right now. And it's like, no, I've been licensed since, um, since what is it, 2014? My upstairs neighbors are, are, are laughing right now. I'm wondering if they're watching this Periscope. And they're just cracking up. Social media. <laughs> just you just watch me type in live here in Periscope. And you got one viewer. I don't know if the one viewer means for all like random people on the internet or just a bunch of people coming through randomly on one. Oh, was your social media feed negative today? Was everybody complaining? Let me know. I'm just randomly asking questions tonight live here on Periscope. It's a telethon, especially if you're on periscope right now if you could type in questions let me know was your social media feed negative today because mine was certainly negative today mine was just overwhelmingly negative today i did not want to log in today when i couldn't log in today it was a kind of like an epiphany a relaxation moment a meditation moment you know we got to focus on real life um yeah was your social media feed overly negative today Right? Didn't notice much. You see, you're lucky. You're lucky. Thank you. Thank you. Giving me a little bit of hope today. 
the, you didn't notice much. I mean, today in my feed, it was just everyone was, I guess because I, maybe I used to live in New York. I live in New York City, by the way. And it's it was just, everybody was just not enjoying the day. Everybody was just like, people who have jobs were complaining today, which that usually doesn't happen. But it was just like, from every aspect, was if it was political or job-wise or just the mundane kind of BS-wise, today in my feed, it was so negative, I did not want to tune in. I did, I just stay away from the Facebook, stay away from the Twitter, and I like to keep myself kind of, you know, have an idea of what's going on. But today, it was just like, you know what, fuck it. Disconnect. Shut off. That's it. I'm not going to fuck with it until right now. And it's like right now, it's just like looking, going through it. It's just like, <laughs> my God, what the? F- and yeah. So you gave me a little bit of hope right there. You gave me a little bit of hope. Thank, thank you for commenting because it was just, I, 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 it, what, what the, what the moons and planets aligned today in a crazy, in a crazy kind of, you know, Still, you know, sync synchronization or whatever, and you know, and, and and by the way, since you just tuned in, I am reading my social media feed right here on my screen here, so I am kind of looking over here and reading some of the shit, and it's just like if it's not like angry about the Mexicans and you know, um, <laughs> blaming blaming the poor folk or blaming the Muslims or blaming whoever, blaming, blaming. Blaming. I'm looking at it right now. Blaming. We're, we're going to blame people. Today, it was like the wolves were out. If you were like weak and, and, you, and, and, and you didn't, um, you just, your political leaning was one way or another. It was just like, it was like, it didn't matter. Yeah, you, you do have to mute, but see, that's my problem is that, you know, there are people who I have to, like, you know, I have to like, which is, I, I mean, my, so, my, especially my Facebook feed is very, very, um, you know, like, like it's like a bonsai tree, you know, <laughs> I'm constantly cutting it and trimming it, you know, it's, but I mean, I literally, I'm not, I, I don't have a lot of Facebook friends. You know, I mean, Twitter is a little bit bigger, you know, Periscope by far. Periscope is just like kind of public, which is kind of weird. I always kind of wanted this kind of forum where it's like instant live TV that I could just that could just put out my ideas. But um, and this is a good example. But um, it seemed like there was like this weird kind of vibe today and it wasn't even. You know, in real life, I mean, I had to take the train and bus today, a bunch of fucking times today, and that's usually a good gauge of how angry people are, you know, in the city in general. Thank you, thank you for the heart, you know, uh, that wise. But just so weird. This is very, very cathartic talking to you. And if you've never seen one of my periscopes, you know, I do a lot of sunset periscopes and i try to keep them fun and you know we're in the moment and you know i'm transporting you there but you know <laughs> let me experiment with this tonight <laughs> so was your periscope feed i mean not your periscope actually periscope was negative last night between that whole sean Shell tv you watch my coney scopes whenever you can thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See, so now, now you see the, the the voice behind, you know, the face behind the voice. Um, thank you, um, because I that's what I want to do. I want to just transport you there. There's going to be some great scopes. I cannot even, just, you guys, who, all of you guys who are following me right now, you guys are on the bottom floor. You guys are going to see some great scopes coming out this summer, like regular, like there's going to be weekly scopes coming out. And we're going to be live at a regular time. It's going to be a weekly or a bi-weekly show. And it's going to be fun. But my God, it was so negative on Facebook today. Well, yeah. (laughs) We'll keep it going here for another few more minutes. If we don't get more... (laughs) If we don't get I'm back down to one. See, that's the whole thing. Whenever I'm on on um, Wi-Fi, you see, you're you're still tuned in. Yeah, 
waiting in line. Oh, wasn't that awesome? That was one of my ev- best ever. That was such a fun scope. It was being out, waiting in line, freezing my ass. Totally worth it. It was awesome. And I'm happy you watched. I'm really, really happy you watched. And there's going to be more. We're going to watch fireworks and we're going to see, we're going to see, um, you know, I'm thinking, I'm planning out in my head a crazy kind of, basically, it's going to be a live vlog. And you're on the ground floor right now. So you're seeing this from the very beginning. You're seeing this from my little idea to hopefully it turns out decent. But basically what's going to happen is when I want to talk into the camera to you, I'll be live on Periscope, but then I'm going to edit that in later with, you know, full HD resolution stuff and time lapses and music kind of breaks and all that crap, you know, um, for, you know, I'll turn it around and whenever I get home and I'm able to edit it and put it out in like an hour or two. And yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. So uh, one of the ideas, one of my big ideas, which is coming up really soon, is when the uh, um, cyclone opens up on Palm Sunday, there's going to be some people sleeping the night out there. So (laughs) I'm thinking about going out there with my sleeping bag and just camping out with them and intermittently throughout the night have my periscopes and then we'll be the first people in line to watch the cyclone go around. You know, we'll be, um, we, we may not write, we're, I really want to do a scope in my heart of hearts. <laughs> I want to do a scope on the cyclone. I planned it out in my head. I know how I'm going to hold the phone. I know everything. It's just a matter of sneaking it, everything on there calmly. And I know it sounds awesome, right? I know it sounds awesome. It's going to be fucking great. <laughs> but imagine like here I am talking for you for two seconds on the periscope, I could cut that into some whatever time lapse or some decent music and um and then have like a vlog. A vlog. <laughs> so I'm actually and that that's what I'm doing. And if you haven't didn't you didn't see before, this is what I'm doing right now. Is I'm making so I'm making like a vlog right now. But it's just like uh, I want it to be really, really cool. And I'm not being spontaneous about it. And that's what you have to be. You have to be spontaneous about the whole deal. You can't just think it. So there's a conflict that I'm having right now, which I'm trying to get through. But do it now when it's 10 degrees outside. And and then when it's time to be there on Palm Sunday and I'm out there with you guys watching live on Periscope, then, <laughs> then, then it'll be good. There's going to be actual content. And then it won't be too hard to shoot. I just got to be out there all night. <laughs> but it'll be fun. And so you got that. And then you got, you know, random days when I'm down there. Then fireworks Fridays. And then Mermaid Parade and whatever else is going on. Yeah. And listen, it's not even, they're going to be saved. So if you don't know, go to my catch page. I have a catch page. K-A-T-C-H dot M-E slash Dutch Moss. On my catch page, you have all the replays of my scopes. So you could go there right now if you are bored and you need something to watch. There's actually plenty of content already on there. Just go over there and there's plenty of periscopes that I did in the past. That I, 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 There are some periscopes that are lost to time. I cannot even tell you. There were some great periscopes that I did. You didn't know that? Yes! There is hope in the universe. <laughs> yes. K-A-T-C-H dot M-E slash Dutch Moss. If you go there. You'll see all the replays of a bunch of scopes that I did, including some. If you didn't see my blizzard scopes, I did scopes in the middle of a blizzard. And I'm they, in retrospect, they're like these great little snapshots in time that I'm probably, you know, do we not get another blizzard? We'll never get it. Yes, check it out later. There's thank you. There's plenty of stuff on there on my YouTube page, slash Dutch Moz, same thing, same name. You know, you'll, there's videos on there and there's. You know, my Instagram and my Flickr and all that crap. So I'm all over. (laughs) Um, But yeah. And see now my social media feed. Here it is. Hashtag social media has become a positive thing. Got one person watching my catch video. That's worth it. 
right there. That's worth it. <laughs> that is worth it. Cheers. 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 I mean, I have some crazy scopes where I'm, I'm you know, New Year's scope. The New Year's scope is amazing. The New Year's scope, I learned how um, the data, the data worked. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. Yes, cheers. Cheers. I learned how the data worked on New Year's. And basically, if you watch the replay of that, you'll notice the whole like 15 minute intro. And by the way, I put my little phone <laughs> every now and then I will put my phone on a 60, 70 pounds, a 70 pound tripod with a with a fluid head. So <laughs> I stick this little iPhone six onto a fluid head tripod and I'll go down to like Coney Island or whatever. I'm planning out some more shows where I'm going to stick my tripod down and you guys are just going to. You guys are just going to be there, like, periscoping, you know? <laughs> and um, basically, I went down there, and the, before the fireworks, I had a really strong signal. And mind you, I have a wife, somewhat a Wi-Fi backup through the cable Wi-Fi that's available down in Coney Island. But on this night, it really didn't work. And I actually have another Wi-Fi connection, which I can't talk about. But, um, so three redundancies, right? Two Wi-Fi networks, and then my Verizon, which is the best. Verizon compared to T-Mobile, AT&T, and everything else here in New York kind of sucks. Um, on my Verizon network, you know, sucking up my data. And uh, once the fireworks got going, my data would... Because everyone was online. They're taking pictures. They're sending out Instagrams. So on the catch page... You see the replay, once the fireworks start up, it starts dropping frames, the audio is out of sync, and then it just, like, there's a whole chunk where it just, like, it just, you just jump across. And then once the fireworks are over, the signal comes back, and it's, everything is hunky-dory and fine. So, especially for the Mermaid Parade, I'm going to have to plan out how can I keep my signal going, because Mermaid Parade usually... There's a you know eight hundred thousand people, a million people down there, so the the network gets just slammed. I got to figure out where can I position myself to hopefully get Wi-Fi, like a strong Wi-Fi signal, and I maybe unfortunately the way it looks like now, I won't be able to move. I'll be able to just do standard locations. Yeah. It was weird. It was just off. It was that's funny, yeah. You saw the um Well no, the um yeah, well that was on replay. You must have seen it on replay. Because the uh oh man. That that Wonder Wheel scope, man. And and now in retrospect when I watch it on catch, when I watch that Wonder Wheel um replay, I notice I never lost my signal. Meanwhile, from my end, I thought I lost my signal. So that's why there was a part one and a part two. There was a part one where I'm on the line, then this part two is right as I'm getting on, then we ride it, hop off. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to p know how to position myself in order to keep my signal strong. And, to, you know, so I'm going to have to, besides asking you where, you know, where you're watching from, it's going to be, you know, is my signal strong? Right. Oh, yeah, see, the signal was dropping. It was weird, I know, but on the catch... If you watch the replay, the catch replay, that was strong. That's that was a strong signal all the way to the end. And it was it's it's weird. It's just weird how it works. Not even the recording wise, it's really the signal wise, because you could tell that catch is really downloading and recording, copying everything. It's really good at that. Um comments. I notice when I'm in Wi Fi I don't get all my comments. Right, yeah. Yeah, watch the catch replay. It it was I was I was smooth all the way to the end, and I'm like, okay, I don't think I have a good signal. Let me let me uh, uh, redo my stuff, a uh, reboot or whatever. And that's what I did. I actually rebooted the phone, then it came back in. So, um, but Periscope is one of these programs, one of these applications that is just amazing. And I feel like I want to use it more as a tool. I mean, I already made money off it. So I made $340, like $2. 
from it. And that was basically some tourists watch. And you could watch the catch replay. There were some tourists who came into town. And, they, and basically they watched. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. They watched me. I, went, I did a periscope underneath the big Christmas tree in Rockefeller Center. And they, um, they asked me. Like, from, like they just casually, like, oh, we're going to be in New York for three days. And in three days, and I tell them randomly, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, if you're coming to New York, I'm a licensed New York City tour guide. And um, direct message me on Twitter, and I'll give you a tour. They direct messaged me right after the Periscope was done, it seemed like, because when I got home, the email was there. And um, we met up. <laughs> it was four people. They were in their, like, 40s and late 30s and really cool people really awesome and they were all from indiana and they were in new york for the holidays and <laughs> we all we did was we walked down fifth avenue and all i did was take the re i really didn't even go into any history or any kind of statistics deal it was just like i guided them down fifth avenue for it was like 80 minutes it wasn't even like full an hour and a half it was like 80 minutes i was like at the end of the tour i was even like oh listen i'll give you a discount because it wasn't the full two hours that i you know, yeah, it was crazy. I, I told them the tour was going to be two hours. And that night it rained and that was their only night they could do it. But I was like, oh, it's going to rain in, in the afternoon. But in the evening at night when the lights, you know, when the lights are on, it's going to be drizzling or whatever. And they were like, cool. So we met like an hour. We're gonna, we were going to meet at nine o'clock. We ended up meeting at 10 o'clock. We met up at 10 o'clock and we did a little walk down from 57th Street. So all the windows, took pictures in front of all the windows, bs It was fun. Got down to Saks Fifth Avenue, saw the whole display going there. And then we took pictures at Rockefeller Center. And we all knew Rockefeller Center, we had to be there at a certain time because the tree shuts off. This is a, this is a pro tip. It, the tree shuts off at 1130. If it's not either New Year's or uh, Christmas, the tree shuts off at 11.30 at night. So think about that. You're in the, the last showing of the uh, Christmas show in, in, in um, you know, Radio City. You come out, and you're like, after the show, like, all right, we're going to take some pictures in front of the tree. You only got like 15 minutes. Not even. Think about you got to wait to get out of the fucking theater, and then you got to walk the half block over to see the tree. You got to have like 10 minutes can have like 10 minutes max to s enjoy the tree take it in just look at the fucking thing and take a picture well my people knew that so we did all our pictures we made our way underneath the tree and i guaranteed them because i felt bad i felt like i hear these people they're paying me 35 dollars a person <laughs> and they end up giving me a tip so that's how i ended up with the 300 and something dollars <laughs> which it, it sort of amazes me. This is like, this is amazes me. So I was like, all right, we're going to have a New York moment. We're going to get underneath the tree, take pictures, and then I'm going to act crazy. And, and I'm gonna, we're going to count down the tree. We're going to count it down to midnight or 12, or 12 30, or 1130. You know, we're going to count down to 1130. We're going to shut the tree off and everyone's going to freak out. All right. So we get there, take our pictures. <coughs> and then I'm like, all right, folks. All right, the tree's shutting down. Let's let's just shut it down, folks. And then we did a countdown from we did a six a full minute countdown, sixty seconds, and especially the last like ten seconds, my people were kept chanting it. You know, ten, nine, eight. So the tree shuts down. Well, the tree doesn't shut down. We, we count down to zero, and the tree is still on. So everyone's like well, kind of like a chuckle, but like a second later, not even two seconds later, the tree shuts off. And the whole, it was like, there were like 20 people. There were 20 something people watching this because I was loud. I was loud. I was the only thing going on. The, the ice rink was like, they had the Zamboni out. So there was no action on the, on the ice rink. It was all on me. So <laughs> there was even one guy. There was one guy in the crowd. Had his arms crossed. And he's just yelling, trying to yell over me. The tree's not going to shut off. It's not going to shut off. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't know what you're talking about. You know, hey, hey, it's not going to shut off. And then when that tree shut off, the whole crowd was like, 
like they couldn't even believe it and and my people who are with me from Indiana they like they they couldn't eat they were like freaked out they couldn't believe it and then like I know for that night they went to the bar they had a good time it was like it was done that was they had their New York experience they knew where to go they knew where to eat you know if they were to come into Brooklyn you know I would have showed them around Brooklyn you know it's that's the magic of Periscope that is the magic, and I feel like now is the time to seize on it. You know, last night there was this crazy thing with, um, I don't know if you follow Chantal TV. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's, actually, it's actually posted on the, um, on the uh, uh, Rockefeller Center website. It's posted on there. It's not pi- private information. It's something that you could just... Google and it's there. Go to the Rockefeller Center. Yeah, it's kind of people. That's the thing I don't understand. It's there is no when you if you, let's say you got to come to New York and you got to p- plan out your thing, right? How do you not like you kind of like I I well see listen, here's the deal. I'm always looking at whenever I log into the Rockefeller Center website, I'm looking for extra information to maybe get tickets for shows for extra maybe because every now and then top of the rock the observation uh, deck in Rockefeller center sometimes it's open until like two three in the morning for a special night so they will so they will basically offer this, this pro tip they will offer every now and then they will offer discount tickets to go there at like one o'clock in the morning Two o'clock in the morning because they're gonna have some some guy there or whatever with a telescope and we're gonna watch the International Space Station fly over or just something. There's a, there's an event going on where they have to keep the observation deck open for whatever reason, and you could go up there as just a random person. You ride the elevator up. You want to have a you know you want to have too much of the amenities, you know, i.e. like like a guide to walk you around. Yeah, observation. But usually they have nice guys up there who will show you what you're looking at. You just go up there and hang out in the middle of the night or early in the morning. It goes either way. But if you check the Rockville Center and Top of the Rock websites, every now and then they will have bulletins in there. You got to kind of look for them. But they will have bulletins in there telling you when they have special events happening that are kind of, kind of open to the public. You kind of just kind of have to know that they're going on. And you could really um, pro tip get a pen and pen get a pen and paper. There is a phone number to call that if this phone number has worked since the nineties when Conan O'Brien used to have a show in, in NBC Studios, oh, it is a great job to have. It's fun. It's fulfilling. You could do something and have instant feedback. It's like Periscope when people tap for the hearts instant feedback it's instant gratification and um i can't do anything else it's <laughs> i'm hoping to get a job on either water taxi right now or or a circle line if i get a job on a circle line i'll be so fucking happy you have no idea circle line or water taxi water taxi is a little bit more kind of stringent and how they let their guides in and there's only room for so many but it seems like on on um, Circle Line, there's more room and there's more room for pe- new people. Um, the buses, I'm not down with the buses. I'm not down with the bus because the buses are just like your mediocre kind of real. Like I give you cliff notes. When, when you're on a bicycle tour with me, I give you cliff notes. I'm not going to tell you everything because I don't want to overwhelm you with too much crap. Um, I want you to be enjoyable with a little food for thought. You know, and especially on a bike tour, I don't want to tire you out while riding. I want you, if you're ever to come on one of my bike tours, I want you to ride your bike and just, <laughs> just look around. Like when, when you're on my Central Park tour, we ride the bike so slow, it's kind of funny, but we do walk the bikes because I want you to experience little parts of the park that aren't accessible by bike. Um, so the little half and half. You walk a little bit, you ride the bike a little bit. But when you ride that bike, you're able to get through a lot of the park. So you get a good idea of what it's like in the southern end of the park. And then you get to the little, almost to Harlem. And you see a nice 
go through the North Meadow or the North Woods. And um, it's nice. It's nice. Especially on the bike. Two hours. I can show you the entire park. 27,000 trees. 9,000 benches. 144 miles of drainage pipe. You know, they... <laughs> yes! You got, you got to come down. You got to come down. You got to come down. It's fun. New York is safe. It's a fun place to be. It's a little expensive, unfortunately. Um, that's why I live in a place like, like this with all the water damage. <laughs> because I live in a building that's 100 years old. So, um, 1919. I'm going to have a birthday, make a birthday cake for my building. And all my neighbors are going to freak out. And they're going to think I'm weird. <laughs> and, if, and, but if you, go to, if you go to my catch page, you can see the view from my roof. And you know why I don't move. <gasps> Even better, Periscope. <laughs> yes, Australia, Australia. My God, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I, I'll tell you something. I, I have taken so many people around New York City from Australia on, on bikes. Um, most of them on bikes. And they are fun people. You guys are fun. Um, you know, it's just, you know... I understand. Listen, listen, listen. This is the big deal with everyone from outside of New, of New York City or even in the United States. Um, tipping. Tipping, unfortunately, here in the States is unfortunately a kind of a base to our income. So when you don't tip, it's kind of just like, uh. <laughs> and I know that a lot of you guys don't have to tip. I know a lot of Australians, they don't tip. Um, but it's just a good thing. You know, you don't have to tip a lot. You know, just a little bit, but unfortunately here, and it, it, hopefully we'll get a living wage here eventually. Um, but, um, it's just the way it is. It's just, unfortunately, it's just the way it is out here. It's, it's um, driven into our economy, this whole tipping deal, which hopefully eventually if we have a living wage, like $15, here in New York would be $15 an hour. Um, but even though I get paid $15 an hour, that's not enough. <laughs> It's really not enough. I mean, rent is two thirds the income, so yeah, <laughs> it's not. We're doomed. <laughs> you know, we have we have the Donald Trumps of the world going right now, and uh, and everyone complaining about the Arabs and the Mexicans. And meanwhile, the Mexicans are really going back to Mexico. You know, that's that's the ironic thing. The net the net immigration right now is going back to Mexico. Everyone's complaining about like the people who are lower. It's 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 a terrible kind of you know dichotomy we have going on right now between everyone. It's really kind of disturbing. Um, but I love Australians. They're awesome. I took them around. So if, you, if you're ever in New York, I will totally show you around. <laughs> um, take you on a bicycle tour. I could I do a beach tour. I could take you on a beach tour. And this is another video you can watch on my catch page. Yes, it would be awesome. You go to my catch page, and there's a video where I take you down to my favorite beach. It's called Fort Tilden in Queens. And the reason why it's my favorite beach is because it's closest to my house, but it feels like you're in the middle of nowhere. You're a thousand miles away from New York. But the crazy thing about this beach is you could go up. It's, a, it's, a, it's an abandoned um, naval base, um, but you could, there's a vantage point in one of the, ba the abandoned batteries, of uh, the cannon batteries and missile batteries, you could go up to the top of this thing and you could see this amazing view of the city, right? And the beach is like, if you've ever been, like, if you ever come to the States and if, if you could ever visit Montauk. Montauk is like these beautiful sand dune beaches. It's, it's, nobody lives up there. It's like just very few people live there. It's very expensive. It's extremely expensive. A lot of really, really rich people live up there. But if you could ever visit, visit up there, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's just on the other side of the same island I'm on, technically. But here in New York, we have Fort Tilden. It, it is beautiful. And I did a periscope down there, literally on the edge of my data feed. It was, there was a, there's basically a, a little line where I couldn't cross because I would, would have lost my signal completely. But it was fun doing a periscope down there. But I could take you on a tour down there. And I took quite a few people. Uh, from around the world, um, I took some. I took a German family down there. I took some people from from um, 
from Palermo, Italy down there and from Spain. And yeah, I took some, quite a few people down there and it is just the best they every time like they ride there's like this bridge that you got to cross to get in there and they all want to stop on the bridge they all want to stop on the bridge because they just stop up there and you can see coney island you could see Staten island and the, and the verrazano bridge and the whole skyline of manhattan literally the whole skyline from midtown all the way down to lower manhattan and they freak out every time they're like wow this is new york and i'm like yeah this is New York, and then we ride in. We ride into Fort Tillman, and oh yeah, and Coney Island is Coney Island is. This is the thing I love about Periscope because I know, you know, these videos will be saved for posterity, hopefully, unless the bomb goes off. Um, Coney Island's in like this a magical time right now, where it's the last bit of kind of real New York real kind of everyday people kind of deal kind of authentic new york you're huge you're, yeah yeah exactly they filmed besides mr robot i mean they have filmed a ton of stuff that if you if you have a hulu i think it's on hulu now or hulu it's not on netflix anymore uh i think it's on hulu or, or amazon prime there is a movie called The Little Fugitive. It was made in 1952 like, or something like that. And it's a black and white film. And it's about this little boy who thinks he killed his brother and he ends up in Coney Island. And get a, get, you really get an idea what Coney Island used to be like in his heyday. And even then, it wasn't even in his heyday. And, oh yeah, you gotta watch. There's a new version of The Little Fugitive. Do not watch. Do not watch the new version of The, of the Little Fugitive. That's on Netflix and it's horrible. Horrible. And the Warriors is a very cartoony, you know, that's the Warriors is a really cartoonish version of what New York was like in 1979. And yeah, yeah, you got to watch the old version. Yes. Um, the Warriors is it's a very kind of um, it's a cartoon of what it was like here in New York. I mean, it was definitely like that with the gang culture kind of still is. Um, you just have to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, it's even in Coney Island to this day but in Coney Island you have that last authentic New York authentic kind of this is what we are kind of this is where we all go to relax Manhattan is getting scary Manhattan is not Manhattan anymore Manhattan is um, Manhattan is kind of like a rich people's playground and even the most mundane things like water you know, or um, anything, cupcake, cupcake, you know, pizza, this is gourmet pizza, gluten-free. It's not the authentic New York, you know, oh, I've been living, I'm a long-time New Yorker, and they'll say, yeah, they're a long-time New Yorker, how long have you been living here? And they'll be like, oh, fucking, you know, five years or whatever. You got to be here for a while, unfortunately. You got to be here for a while to really understand what it's like to live here. I mean, I lived here all my life. So I'm skewed with how much it costs to live, for instance. You know, I think I got a bank at least $1,100 a month just to cover rent. Just to cover rent. So, yeah. It's doggy dog here. It's doggy dog here. And that's kind of... The, the allure of the place. It's why people want to come here and people want to live here. It's retardedly expensive. It's retardedly expensive. You know, I'll give you an idea here. Um, I'll use the map. I have this map behind me here. So we're, you'll see my computer. Then we'll zoom around here. So here is Manhattan. All right, so here's Manhattan. This is Lower Manhattan. This is the, uh, that's the World Trade Center right there. This is the Brooklyn Bridge, seven miles from my house. Then we come down three, all right, look at this. Look at that. That's where I live, all the way down here in Brooklyn. Eight, roughly eight miles, really, from Lower Manhattan. Eight miles from Lower Manhattan. That's how far I live. And then all these black lines are my bicycle routes. 
Is it with these roots I use for the most part? Yeah, thank you. I used to be a bike messenger, so. But these are all my roots that I use all the time. They go all the way up to the Bronx and they go mostly into Queens. But this is how expensive it is to live here. I live eight miles away from this, what would you, what you would call the central business district. I live all the way down here in Bay Ridge here in Brooklyn. This is all Brooklyn down here. This is all Brooklyn. This is Coney Island right here. That's Coney Island. Just three miles from my house. I ride along the water. Yeah. Well, all of New York's expensive. That's the problem. All of New York is expensive. All this, this is like working class, right? Bay Ridge, Tiger Heights, Bensonhurst, Bath Beach, Right, Coney Island, you know, Gravesend, working class, right? Somewhat affordable, somewhat affordable, all on the edge here, somewhat affordable. Here's, look at this, John F. Kennedy Airport, JFK, and that's here, Howard Beach, working class, Italian, but across the highway, ghetto, East New York, New Lots, Starrett City, Spring Creek, the rough neighborhoods. The border. This is the border. Brooklyn, Queens. Working families. Nice. Comfortable house. Big houses. Right? I mean, you have... This is where all the normal people live. Now we're going into Queens. This is Long Island City here. Greenpoint. Williamsburg. Williamsburg. Hipsters. Expensive. This gentrified in the 90s. It's all gentrified in the 90s. Moved down. This is downtown Brooklyn. Fort Greene. Fort Greene went from a really rough neighborhood to a really trendy, really expensive neighborhood. Extremely expensive to live here now. When just 15, 20 years ago, nobody wanted to live there. And just for look, Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge, Williamsburg Bridge. All right here. And now, can't afford to live there. This is the neighborhood gentrifying right now. Red Hook. Nobody wants to live there because there's no trains down here. But now they're trying to bring in trolleys because it's gentrifying. This is Sunset Park. Sunset Park used to be mostly Latino. Now, the, the gentrification has moved down because this is Park Slope. Park Slope... Um, uh, besides Steve Buscemi, uh, Anne Hathaway, who else lives there? Um, the guy from Star Trek, <laughs> Captain Picard from Star Trek lives here. He lives literally right between the same avenues I'm between. This is Fifth Avenue, I mean Fourth Avenue right here. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But the gentrification has moved this way, down into my neighborhood. And now even in my neighborhood, it's being gentrified. Look at that. You got, <laughs> you got a little idea of what it's like and how rough it is to live in New York. Thanks, thanks to Periscope. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. But yeah, that's what's going on. You're more than welcome. This, this, is, this is why I love Periscope. <laughs> And I'm here in my Wi-Fi, so might as well. Yeah, you did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you did have a mini tour. Just to know that you're all, you know, you're watching this on the other side of the earth. It's just like, my God. I, I mean, I used to have a cable access show here in New York. And, um, you know, it was kind of exciting, like the possibility of 4 million people watching my show, which obviously never happened. But here on Periscope, you could just, yeah, and you're a day ahead. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's, wait, what is it over there? Is it like the middle of the day over there or something like that? It's midnight over here. It's 12 after midnight. I'm usually watching my Colbert show. I don't know if you know about the Colbert show. It used to be the Late Late Show with Letterman, or the Late Show with Letterman. Yeah, it's 4 o'clock on Thursday. Oh, my God. All right, so 4 o'clock today, I, I'm going to be... I might do a Periscope from Coney Island at 4 o'clock Eastern time here in New York, but I'm, I'm going to be in Coney Island, maybe picking up my art. I don't know yet. And then, um, yeah, 
I got to bring it home. But I might, I might be out there for sunset. So <laughs> that's funny. That's the power of Periscope. That's the power of Periscope. And now since you know, you can watch my replays and there's the content is there. And I, I've actually already have experimented with downloading the catch replays and editing them. And I could totally, you know, I have been... So, if anyone knows me personally and they're watching this, yes, I'm married. And, <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah, you go always, yes, listen. Watch live, watch in the replay, doesn't matter. They're there, I want you to watch, thank you for watching. Thank you for being a viewer. Um, you're on the ground level. And I want to make live vlog i mean live vlog is like kind of i'm doing it right now and i'm not even realizing it i'm not even doing it i'm doing it right now <laughs> you're hearing a real new york accent i'm trying to talk quiet got people right in the other room they kind of drank tonight so i think they're kind of sleeping i got time before i tell me to shut the fuck up <laughs> um yeah live vlog and i'm thinking about you know yeah, <laughs> I'll go on, like I'll be live throughout the day for little snippets, but then at certain points I'll be on there for a while. If something good's happening and I have the data, you know, those are those days. The, mer the Two days, two days. It's the Mermaid Parade. And then another vlog I'm definitely going to be doing is go to my Flickr page and you can see this. Every year there are some people who swim 17 miles here in New York City all the way down from Manhattan all the way down from Manhattan all the way down to Coney Island they do that every year and I've been photographing it for like the last five years and last year I was thinking about doing a periscope but I noticed I didn't really get signals oh yeah it's a long way it takes like five hours <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy it's a marathon for me and all I'm doing is taking pictures Literally, I mean, we're on a boat doing like two knots and we're watching these guys swim. And sometimes the tide really gets them going. So it's not, at times they're swimming like fucking, they were swimming like seven knots this year. It was like crazy. Like they were swimming seven knots for like almost two hours. Just blah, 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 blah. Just going, just going. And I'm, I'm thinking about, I'm going to make a whole, again, a little vlog. So you'll see little live snippets, but then I'll in post. I'll edit it. Yeah. Just the signal cuts out. Yeah. Oh, the signal just cut out. Oh, my goodness. Really? Okay. Well, listen, my, it's okay. It's Periscope. But yeah, these people swim for 17 miles. It takes them seven, oh, five hours, almost five hours this year. It was a little less than five hours last year. Um, and I'm thinking about, we just do a live vlog and hopefully do little snippets here and there, you'll see live stuff, but then I'll interject that in with a nice, like, you know, time lapse and and all that crap and, and music. You know, I'm right now. I've been I've been literally combing the internet for libraries with copyright free music or music you can use, you know, fair use music. And it's easy and it's hard because it's easy to find it and something that you like. You know, it sounds awesome. It sounds cool. But then there's a lot of it that when you realize when you're trying to cut video to it, it just doesn't doesn't have that, that, that snappiness. That's the, that's the thing that Casey, Casey Neistat, who I met years ago, he came on a beach ride that, you know, there's a, there's a group called Time's Up who does a week, uh, no one was a weekly beach ride or a monthly beach ride down to Fort Tilden. And he was on one of those rides. And, um... Started talking to him, and you know, I knew so much about New York, and he just picked my brain because he was relatively new to New York. He was only in New York for like four years or five years, something like that. And he was just picking my brain, picking my brain, you know, just what about this and what about that? And you know, he already rode and he was on his fixed gear and he had his cameras. And even I didn't even realize that all he had was a little, little point and shoot, you know, a couple of point and shoots. That was the thing that kind of the only thing that made me remember him was who, who, who the fuck goes around in 2004, 2005 with um, two little point and shoots. You know, not just one, but two, because I had one. But ooh, he had two, and that's the only reason why I remembered him. And next thing you know, he's on HBO. And now he has these vlogs. 
and these vlogs to me, thank you for the hearts, these vlogs to me are like the best fucking soap opera you could ever fucking watch because it's daily, it's of yesterday. I mean, he cuts these vlogs probably in like two hours and I could easily do that. You know, I could easily cut something up in two hours. I'm dyslexic too and I barely went to school. But like, God, it, it's like, the, it's riveting. It's like, I, I can't, I wake up. When I wake up, I wake up at eight o'clock Eastern here in New York. And that's when he usually um, uploads his videos. And that's literally now for the last almost three months. Yeah, you got to go now. Hey, it was awesome having you. Thanks for tuning in. Catch my scopes. Thanks for tuning in. You know what? I think I might tune out right now myself. So if you've been randomly watching this on the internet, if you've been randomly watching this, I know my replay, yes. Bye-bye from Australia. Thanks for tuning in. It was awesome talking to you. It was awesome talking. If you were just watching this on the replay, hey, thanks, 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 thanks. You know, I guess I'm now my uh, everything's redeemed. Social media made me not all that bad. So nighty night, folks. Can good night, Mrs. Calabash. Good night, Mrs. Calabash. Wherever you are.